I just found something that I haven't found in decades. Most of the fossils that I, I was told that I'd find out here were would be tiny little things. <laughs> Not this. I have chosen poorly. Oh, it looked solid and I am stuck. Oh, hi everybody. Oh, right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Finding Fossils with Sean. Uh, today is going to be a special day. We are finding fossils someplace that I have never been before, someplace I've never hiked before, someplace I've never fossil hunted before. We are in beautiful Caesar Creek State Park. Uh, the wind is a little rough today, so who knows what the final quality of a lot of this video is going to end up being. But before we can go fossil hunting, we have to go get our permit. <laughs> it's free, but we still got to get it. Now to get your permit at Caesar Creek State Park, you have to go to the Visitor Center. And the Visitor Center is much more than just a build, a small building. It actually is a uh, rather decent sized museum that uh, showcases artifacts and a lot of information about the history of not only geological, but uh, the human history of this area that the park is located in, including the namesake of Caesar Creek State Park. There's information about that. But there's also, of course, a lot of information about the fossils that one can find at Caesar Creek State Park. This is the Upper Ordovician, so you're going to find a lot of unique fossils, including trilobites. I'm still searching for my first. <laughs> Maybe today will be the day. But what will we find in this Ohio ocean? Hmm. Who could know? Makes you wonder. So let's go out to the spillway. Now here's, of course, is a sign. Fossil collecting by permit only, and we have our permit. There it is. The infamous spillway. Just look at it. Uh, hey there. So here we are at the Caesar Creek State Park Spillway, the infamous spillway. It's one of the best fossil hunting sites in all of Ohio, or at least one of the most legendary fossil hide sites in all of Ohio. Let's see what I can discover. So one of the things I've learned after fossil hunting is sometimes you just have to sit and search and that's when you find some of the really cool things. Um, I think a lot of budding amateur paleontologists out there, especially those that are dealing with invertebrate or division fossils like the ones I search for, are always looking for the biggest and the baddest and the best. And that's true. You know, I, I, can't, I can't fault that. I, I, I certainly look for that similar thing myself. But sitting here on the spillway, I have, in just this little spot, I have found a brachiopod species. And yeah, sure, you have seen me find a lot of brachiopods on the channel before. But I'm finding brachiopod species and uh, genuses that I, I've never seen before. And not only that, due to the nature of the spillway and the composition of the soil, I am finding, granted, they are tiny, super tiny. But I am finding them in quality that I've never seen before. So this is just great. I'm, I'm having a great time. And I, I know I keep apologizing for the breeze, but you know what? That, that breeze is what's keeping me alive because otherwise I would be feeling the full force of that 90 degree sun hitting me straight on the head. Let's, let's see what else I can find. <laughs> the phylum Bryozoa is so broad Sometimes uh, I will admit that even I have problems identifying all the different species, but I wanted to highlight here that it is so broad that these are both examples of bryozoa, even though they look very, very different. <laughs> I apologize for the wind if you can't, if it's hard to hear, but. I just found something that I haven't found in decades. Uh, I am absolutely amazed. Uh, I just found, uh, and I will say this, most of the fossils that I, I was told that I'd find out here were, would be tiny little things. <laughs> no. 
Not this, not this. <laughs> I found for the first time in decades, my first horn coral in years. Uh, decades, literally decades. I haven't found, I have been searching for horn coral for a long time. Obviously, I was just in the wrong geologic period of time. This creek, this spillway, is exactly what I need to be able to find pieces of horn coral just like this. Um, horn coral is unique. I mean, it looks just like a tooth. And when I picked it up, I originally thought it was a cephalopod, you know, like the cephalopods you've seen on the channels before. I saw the shape and was like, yeah, it's a cephalopod. But as soon as I picked it up and turned it over and went, well, that's unique. Look at that. And there it was, my first horn coral in like 24 years. <laughs> Correction, 33 years. <laughs> All right, you know what? No matter what else I find here today, this, this makes it worth it. This makes it worth it for me. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I'm so glad to be exploring someplace new. So not long after I found that first piece of horn coral that I got so excited about, I quickly found this small second piece of horn coral. It's the tip of a horn, horn coral, but this time it's, I have one that is in full 360 degrees, and you can see there the uh, quintessential horn coral markings that give it that identifiable horn coral. And then, not far from there, I found this, which I, use, uh, I first identified as a cephalopod. It looks like cephalopods that I've found in the past, but it's so close to the horn coral, it made me second guess myself. Who knows? So one of the rules in the permit is that we, one, can't use any tools, which I get, and two, uh, that we can't take anything too big. It all has to fit in the palm of our hands. And boy, I wish I could break those rules right now because I have just found an amazing gastropod. Uh, that would be like the spiral snail. Here, let me let me show you. Oh, it is such an amazing specimen. And uh, you gotta follow the rules. The rules are the rules for a reason. So we're gonna leave that beautiful gastropod here and maybe one day, erosion will free that fossil out and somebody will find something truly, truly amazing. Let's see what else we can find. looked solid and I am stuck. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> I mean, it looks solid enough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my foot is down there. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I got out. That was, um, that was unexpected. Oh man, that sucked. Oh, my foot kind of hurts. Oh, it really got stuck in there. Here, let, let me show you what, uh, what everything looks like. So it doesn't look like much, but that's, that's definitely the hole, uh, that I, I sunk into and there's, there's the boot. That's, uh, that definitely went up there past my, uh, uh, well, past the top of the boot. And I wear tall boots, so uh, for a hot second, I wasn't sure I was getting my boot back. <laughs> okay, I uh, think it's almost time to call it a day after that. Whew, it looks solid. Damn. And 
I think we'll call that a day. Uh, this was a great day, a great first expedition to Caesar Creek State Park and the spillway. Uh, I hope you had a lot of fun. I know I had a lot of fun. Uh, if you like what you saw, do all the YouTube things. Hit like, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to try to hold on to my hat while I walk back to my car. So until next time, I'll see you again really soon. Ha, ha, ha.